children will go and tell their parents. And it's sort of like a pass it forward kind of thing. So getting the word out, getting the word out there. That's the whole idea of this book, is just to get the word out there and you know, have people learn what these dogs are all about, what they do for people like me. I'm here with Jeffrey Adams and Sharif. Tell me a little bit more about Sharif and how you got involved with Cannon Companions for Independence. Uh, I'm a wounded veteran. I lost my leg back in November of 04. I didn't lose enough weight in the heat in Baghdad, so they blew me up, so I took the leg. And what Sharif is, he's a service animal. You, you met the uh, one of the puppies in training. Mm -hmm. and once they have the yellow vest on, they go through training. Once they graduate, they become a full-fledged service animal and get the blue tags. And they help you with chores around the house. They know about 40 different commands from opening doors, picking up keys. They can turn on and off light switches. You know, try to like give them frosty beverage from the fridge too, but you know, you can't do everything. <laughs> I know a lot of dogs can fetch a beer. I'm sure it's something that you'll learn in time. So, but he's, he, I take him to work with me, just lays under the desk and starts snoring, so I have to kick him every now and then, wake him up. But, Bring your uh, dog to work, Jake. Had you been, did you, were you born and raised with dogs or? Uh, actually, I grew up with uh, dogs. Most people, you know, had a mutt at the house growing up. Right, of course. And, uh, while I was in Walter Reed Rehab and learned about just can out your hands for independence. You know, you get a dog in those 40 commands, two years old, it's and it's just all, you know, expense to them, a non-profit, it's the most selfless people I've ever met in my life. You go to cci.org, uh, look on the website, learn all about the Wounded Veterans Initiative, also the different types of service dogs they do, they do therapy dogs and hearing dogs, it's not restricted to just this. Hi, I'm Lauren Ativo, coming to you from the first annual Yukonuba Law Enforcement and Military Narcotic Detection Canine Competition. I have the honor of speaking with Trooper Sims. Hi, nice to to see you and Leroy. Tell me more about this year's event being the first time here at Yukonuba. It was something new to us. This is not something that we have normally participated in, so it was it was a challenge to come sort of last minute. Uh, it was a little frustrating not knowing all the rules before we got here, so we, we were kind of uh, uh, a little behind the, uh, the eight ball as far as that goes. But it was very exciting to talk to other officers from other parts of the country, some of their training techniques and things like that, and to meet and, and have the uh, camaraderie you know, from other, with other police officers. How do you even judge something like this when you're all coming from such a different disciplinary area, you with the highway patrol or somebody from the prison systems, for example? Right. Basically, I think the, the judges had a criteria of the, what the handlers are doing, what the dog is doing, if the dog you know, gives an alert to something that is not there, you know, that obviously points are deducted and things like that. So it's a, it's a scoring thing. It's all it's a numbers. It's all about the numbers. So tell me about your background. Have you been working with dogs for most of your career, or is this something new for you? No, not really new for me. I started uh, working with the Florida Highway Patrol Canine Unit in 1989, and I had another dog and worked for several years, and then uh, got out of the, the uh, canine thing for a little while. I was doing some training, uh, then got back into it a few years ago, and so I've had Leroy now, what, three years. And uh, so it's, it's, and I've been with the Highway Patrol. I just started my 25th year. wears a badge around his, his neck mm -hmm. and when he's on duty he's wearing his badge just like I put on my badge when I go to work. Mm -hmm. When he goes home the first thing we do is we take that badge off. 